welcome to the Autonomous Driving 2014 in Berlin. Okay, um, I'm here with Chris van den Elsen and uh, we'll have a chat about Autonomous Driving, his role um, in this conference uh, yeah. this year and well, I'll be curious to see what, what he can tell us. He brought a, a special something with you. We'll yeah, talk driving about simulator, that. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chris. Where yeah. are you from? What do you so, do? Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, so I'm uh, Chris Van den Elsen. I'm the um, global product director for our machine vision business. So these are the, you know, we use cameras to uh, detect things that are going on in the environment around the car and uh, actively control the car. So what we've got in the driving simulator out there today is um, we, we simulate a driving environment and we can put the car into a completely autonomous driving mode um, in speeds, you know, below 72 kilometers per hour. And we show interaction with uh, other cars, you know, pedestrians that might happen to wander out into traffic and, and so forth. So it's, um, it's an interesting little simulator, yeah, see how people react. How do people react here? Um. <laughs> you know, it's funny, when they first get in the car, they forget how to drive all together, right? So they, uh, you know, how to put it in drive and drive yeah. the steering wheel and push the gas pedal and stuff. So they have to kind of acclimate to the simulator first. Um, but then they catch on pretty quick. So it, it's interesting, um, you know, it, there's a comfort zone in a simulator of turning over control. Um, so it, it, we're wondering, if we still have to figure out how this is going to carry over to the broad environment of drivers in the world in a real car. Yeah. So what do you expect to happen next? What, what um, I think it'll happen like it's happened evol evolutionary with um, adaptive cruise control and uh, lane keeping assist, you know, the, the systems will start off where people don't fully trust the systems and um, they'll take over rather than see what happens, you know, and that's kind of the driver response that we would want to happen, right? Um, as we get to fully autonomous cars, there's a lot of research out there that still needs to be done in terms of how will people uh, react when they're startled to something. If they really are comfortable and they give over control to the car and they start to do something else and the car slips on ice or, or something like that, what will the driver do? Will they brace themselves against the steering wheel? And is that considered driver taking control? Or are they just trying to brace themselves from sliding around? Um, there's, a, there's a lot of research right. still needs to be done here. So is that the issue you see yourself confronted with at this conference, uh, or what, what are there what well, issues are out you know, there? Topics. We're at we're at the forefront of uh, of the autonomous car, so there are a lot of topics of what's going to happen. Um, what we do know is that there are going to be things that we don't know. That's the only thing that's certain right now. So we can come up with all the driving scenarios. We can come up with all the ways the sensors have to sense that situation and react to it. But in reality, once you put four billion people into vehicles, um, you know they can all drive one mile. You get four billion miles. Um, somebody's going to come across some situation that we haven't planned for. The car is going to be thrown into that condition. It's going to have to react to it and the drivers, or in this case, they're going to be passengers, are going to have to uh, interact with the car in some way, and uh, we, we have to be prepared. We have right. to be prepared for the unknown. So, yeah, well, it, this definitely bears a lot of benefits that, that we, a lot of people might expect at this point, mm -hmm. but a lot of things are still out there. What do you think will be the, bi the biggest benefit of having that technology put into action? The dream, of course, is that these cars are all um, expert drivers, right. right? So if the autonomous car is out there and all the cars are driven by expert drivers, total number of fatalities should come way down. There's a, um, a big concern, you know, expert drivers still get into accidents, right? Professional drivers like a truck driver may still get into an accident. They get, they get into less accidents, but the, the accidents still might happen. So there is a concern about how much are we willing are we willing to tolerate having the total fatalities come down but not go to zero um, you know I, what's gonna I don't know what's gonna happen in so, that case so but the benefit is that fatalities will come down all right accidents will come down so I get the feeling before we talk about the benefits we'll just have to tackle all the challenges that are <laughs> remaining right so yeah. so how is acting as a business partner here is it is it confronting the challenges that people come up with to you and it say. is. It is. You know, I, I think um, 
you know, it's, it's a great collection of people right now. I mean, the, the list of people that signed up to attend this particular conference is really amazing. And um, to be able to interact with them and talk about the challenges and things, you know, new challenges are coming up. I don't know that we have new solutions quite yet, but uh, this, this is going to be understood and developed over the next 10 to 20 years, right? So if we don't think through the problems now, we're not going to be able to come up with solutions, right? Yeah, so um, having all the experts here in one place and talking about possible solutions is phenomenal. So it helps you build a bigger picture of, of what's to come or, or how to Sure. And what, you know, I mean, we've got uh, suppliers, uh, competitors, customers, everybody's in this mix right now. Um, and to kind of get a feel for what new technologies are available, um, you know, what we could be bringing into our R&D department, what we could be bringing into our production development department, you know, all, all of that is here right now. All right. Well, what's the last thing? What, what's the thing you're going to take back from, from the two and a half days? I mean, we're almost there. That's interesting, yeah. Um, <laughs> Have you thought about it? Yeah, yeah. You know, the dialogue that's happened here, even in the hallway outside of the conferences themselves, um, there's a lot of action items that have happened from being here. Um, so there's a lot of homework to do once I get home in terms of uh, testing samples that might be available or implementing ideas. So yeah, there's a list. So we can hopefully help you. Uh, well, you gave me more homework? Give, give Thanks. The, giving the platform <laughs> for that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So last thing, where are you from again? Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. So Auburn Hills, yeah. Michigan. Yeah. All right. So yeah, the community is um, well at least Brett. So we're it's global. Yeah, it's global. <laughs> right. All right. Well, that was that was fun. Thanks for okay. for having yeah our talk. Um.